I recreate Tower Defense Simulator in LEGO. QDS is of course a Roblox game, and with Roblox itself being a soft LEGO knockoff, I want to recreate a map from TDS in LEGO form. I chose Autumn Falling, undoubtedly one of the most iconic maps in the game, and after taking some reference screenshots, I got to work. I downloaded a digital modeling software for LEGO in stud.io. I decided to make only the back half of the map, capturing most of the details without being overly expansive. I wasn't too familiar with the software, so I did make a lot of beginner mistakes on Day one, and it ended up taking far too long to finish the base, as I stacked orange cover plates over grey bricks. The next day, I set to work on more of the actual details of the model. First of all, I replaced the placeholder white tile pieces with a multitude of small grey parts to replicate the broken up look of the path in the game. I then used curved pieces to replicate the smooth look of the wooden tunnel in game, and then went to work on the hardest part of the whole set, being the rock walls. Unfalling as a map has huge rocky ledges, and capturing it in LEGO meant a lot of different slope pieces and a lot of time rotating these tall grey pieces. However, the detail it provided was definitely worth it. So with the main landmass done, I started on smaller details which would really add life to the set. These small posts, the campfire, and some rocks and bushes. I also made a tree, focusing on using small circular parts to create a very wild looking texture. From there, I just resized and tweaked a few sections and got to work on the last major hurdle, the large tree with a connecting platform. First, I focused on the rock base, connecting it slightly outwards towards the water and trying to get the shaping right. The tree itself was also tricky. The platform itself was simply a singular round piece with a few small light pieces added. And after replicating the technique I used for the smaller tree, all that was left to do was add the bridge, which was quite an easy task as even in game it's fairly simple. And with that, the set was completed save one thing, a minifigure, the iconic small characters in LEGO sets. I decided to make Commander, the face of TDS. So I used photo editing software to create a custom torso for the minifigure, and then I used some existing pieces to finish off the LEGO Commander, which I think turned out pretty good. And now the set was officially finished, and honestly I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like it definitely captured the aesthetic of the map, and I like the overall detailing. So yeah, subscribe if you buy this.